Let's see how fast I can speedrun all 75 goblin maps with only heroes and healers. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. Clash of Clans has the single player goblin maps. How many of you have completed these? I'm sure a lot of you, but I actually have not. For the longest time, Sherbet Towers was the most difficult map. But over two years ago now, Clash of Clans released an extra 25 goblin maps. And I had always wanted to bring you content on this. I just never got around to doing it. But today is the day that we take down the dragon's lair. Let's throw up a timer so we know how long this takes. Begin at the top and honestly, wow. I only need my royal champion seeking shield in order to take this one down. And I think that might be the case for a lot of these levels, especially initially. I want to say, oh, this is going to take a while. Scrolling right back up to the top. I want to say probably 75 minutes and I should probably just bring all of my heroes in together. Okay, let's speed through a lot of the initial levels. I am quite enjoying using my royal champion seeking shield and honestly it's not even a test at this stage. I do need to make sure as we get further on I'm not using too many healers because then I need to cook them back up. completed 10 maps and okay they're starting to get a little bit more tricky here but still nothing compared to my town hall 14 heroes but we have powered through the initial levels and that's where i think keeping that one minute average might be doable because when we get to the levels right at the end it's going to take a lot longer split at certain points so i have gone down and completed mega blaster now let's move across to watchtower and honestly that is what is taking me the longest amount of time it's actually moving through the maps but i i don't know it's quite satisfying watching my heroes and their abilities just obliterating bases champion is not available she took too much damage that is where i need to keep an eye on this moving through and it might be that i start using some healers but i've got to make sure i don't use too many because then i have to wait of those troops cooking back up but we are still powering through the levels super quick at this stage Royal Champion is back, but I think we're pretty good here, actually. Let's use the Queen Grand Warden, and then let's use the Royal Champion maybe a little bit later on in the raid. See, this Archer Tower is shooting at my King, but I think he's okay. And maybe that's where using the ability helps to speed us up, but it does mean that the heroes lose a little bit of health. Oh, I've done it again, but with my King. Do you know what I am going to do? Use a training potion here because that will mean we can get back into the attacks with all heroes even faster. I think I have a new little technique in order to protect my hero's health. So I use the King, the Queen with the Grand Warden, press the King ability, the Queen ability and the Grand Warden. And then I delay the Royal Champion because the shield goes for defenses. So check this out. Once the Grand Warden shield wears off, I can then take the remaining defenses. And I'm quite surprised as to how far we are getting with only the heroes. We haven't even used a healer yet. of the 50 original goblin maps completed and who else has played the game for absolutely years and forgot how easy the goblin maps were at lower level because when you were originally playing as a lower town hall level player these are pretty difficult but as a town hall 14 i'm over 30 maps in and haven't really done anything other than my heroes and the ability honestly the only thing that is slowing me down is trying to remember 
remember which map I am on, but thankfully, due to having more available loot now for every map, it is keeping me on track. So here we go, King, Queen, Grand Warden with the abilities, Royal Champion before the Grand Warden ability, let heroes take down defenses and before the ability wears off, use the RC ability, boom, protecting my hero's health, taking down the base easily and still charging forward. Okay, this looks a little bit more tricky though, because the bases are starting to get more spread out. Honestly, we are not that far away from Sherbet Towers. We are getting very, very close to it. And I wonder if we can even get through Sherbet Towers without using the healers. I mean, we're still doing pretty good. My heroes are starting to take little bits of damage, but I still think we can get through it just by having the training potion. Bring it on, Mega Evil, bring it on. I can't wait to get down to Dragon's Lair though. How easily could we do that? And look at the royal champion. I don't think I can get a healer to that royal champion. Let's actually deploy a couple of healers. Come on, heal that royal champion a little bit. Come on. Oh no, I'm starting to take damage now. So now we need to be a little bit more tactical. Pekka's Playhouse. I remember this map. Well, the final couple of goblin maps of the original ones really do step it up. It seemed like it was absolutely fine. And then right at the end, it just got a whole lot more difficult. Need to let this Grand Warden ability go a little bit longer before I press the RC ability. Now let's do it. Keep an eye on the hero help. The king could do with a healer or two just to heal him back up. Royal Champion's looking pretty good. Uh, do I use a healer there? Actually, I think we're pretty good. Afterwards, because the hero abilities or the hero health is recovering in the background, I think we're okay there. I don't want to use a healer. Yep. Perfect. Cooked up, ready to go, and we're up to Sherbet Towers already. I can't believe how quick this has gone, but look at it. Now it is getting a whole lot more difficult. Why don't I actually do the same thing, probably from this side, with some healers though. King's ability, Queen's ability, let's let the troops spawn first. Then let's use the Grand Warden ability, and we will let my heroes do a little bit of work. My Royal Champion though, getting out ahead, need her to have the healers. Okay, Grand Warden ability is gone, so let's use the... Oh, RC ability! Now she's going to take damage. Healers stick with the Royal Champion, as they are. Queen's looking good over there. I'm not going to deploy any healers yet. The Owl can go down. The pets can take damage. It's all about the heroes themselves. And I think they're all full health. Perfect. Sherbet Towers, sit down and let's start with the 25 extra goblin maps and honestly those first 50 they went down pretty quick a lot quicker than i would have thought now we've got expos four of them i don't think i need healers though i really don't let's just see how far we can get with just the heroes and warden ability hold it hold it use it now with all of the barbarians and archers there we go i knew there was skelly traps on a lot of these and look at all of the tesla let's get through those first now let's use the rc ability oh i could have really done with it going to the expo Okay, we're going to need some healers here. Let's deploy some late. They will move forward, though, and recover the king and royal champion. Still looking good. Not a huge amount of health gone from the heroes. I think they should still be relatively good to get straight back out. This map, Skeleton Run, I think has a lot of skeleton traps, but maybe I could just use my heroes onto the expos. Would that work? Oh, there's Tesla. Oh, no, 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 no. RC ability, come on, get through these. I still think we're okay here. And the, oh my goodness. Let's actually use a healer for the, oh no, there's a... air bombs everywhere. Everyone is looking pretty good here, apart from the queen. Oh, this, oh my, stop trolling me 
What is happening right now? We need something in for the queen. She has taken major, major damage. And I definitely, oh my, ah! I definitely underestimated this base. Okay, now I need to start thinking. But the loot, it's pretty awesome in the goblin maps. Wow. Okay, this is a bit trickier. Oh my word. Let's use some healers first. Maybe let's use one or two more. King, Queen, Warden, and Royal Champion. I still think that's the way to go at the moment. I don't think I need to get too surgical right now. Okay, so the healers have moved forward to the Royal Champion, who is leading the charge. That is very, very helpful. Let's get one or two onto the King, and we should be good to get through this without losing any of the hero's health. And still, the loot is pretty impressive. Season Bank is nicely filling up in the background, which is pretty nice. And now it's easy to know where I am at. The game literally pushes me to that map. Okay, now we have some single target infernos. Not what I want when I'm trying to do a royal champion charge. There's only four defenses at the bottom here. So I think we push everything in from the top. King, Queen, Warden, RC. Let's get some healers. King's ability, Queen's ability, Grand Warden ability. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get through this. Hurry it up. Hurry it up. Come on, boys and girls. Get through that. Once the Royal Champion gets through the Archer Tower, let's press the ability. Yes, it one-shotted the single target Infernos. That's what I'm talking about. Look at all of that sweet, juicy, dark elixir. <laughs> what is this? What? Are you kidding me? How many is that? Okay, well, at least they're multi-target Infernos. Do we even need the healers? I think I'm going to use some. Get a couple in there with the King, the Queen, the Warden, the RC, King ability, Queen ability. Wait a second for all of the barbs and archers to spawn. Then we've got the Grand Warden ability. The healers are actually managing to stay alive and keep my heroes at full health. Do any of you have this rock on your base? It's actually one of the rarest obstacles in the game. It was there when the game was first released and then they took it away just like that. But if you did not know, when you start the game, do not remove your stones because they will not spawn back. Okay, Grand Warden ability. Let's focus a little bit here because we've got multi infernos, single infernos, everything under the sun in this base. Oh no, my king just took a lot of damage. The healers are on the king though, so hopefully they can heal him back up before the end of the raid. Mm, close. <laughs> Not even close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight single target infernos. To be fair, I would love to see mega bases in Clash of Clans with tons of defenses that we all had to attack as a clan. I think that would be awesome. My plan here is basically to use my healers, the King, Queen, King's Ability, Queen's Ability, Grand Warden, RC, Grand Warden ability. Why is there so many skeletons? Gosh, these goblin maps. The healers are on the king. That's okay. I think I want to use a couple of them over on this side just to help my royal champion. Now let's use the RC ability. Let's get through some of these defenses. Do I rage here? Try and speed things up? Let's do it. Let's rage over here because my healers are not quite getting my royal champion to full health. Come on. Come on. Okay, let's freeze this. Give them a little bit of time to heal up here. Come on, Royal Champion, get yourself to full health. I think we're good. Hero is pretty much back up to full health. And when we go back to base, I'm more than confident they'll be ready to go. Fan favorite, Where Eagles Day. Now, this one is interesting because, I mean, you can see there's eight Eagle Artilleries sitting in the base. What I am thinking here is why don't I try and charge the Royal Champion around the outside of the base? I know that I'm trying to speed run this, if you will, but I think that could be a good play. Maybe. I mean, she's taking a lot of damage already. I have one rage spell, which I can use, and then weirdly enough, my spells have been getting built in the background, and I have two jumps to freeze, and let's just see what happens here. Let's just see what happens. I might actually be able to charge the royal champion into the eagles looks like she's doing that anyway but she might actually take more damage from doing so and i want to just wait a couple of minutes before i send my king and queen in because i kind of feel like we need to take down some eagles so that's two of them done royal champion doing a pretty good job here actually she's doing a phenomenal job she is losing healers so let's send a couple of others in and i think i can chill i can put my feet up and let this royal champion do her thing Is it 
time? Is it time to go full throttle? I think so, because we do kind of want to see all four Eagle Artilleries synchronized and firing down to our troops. Let's use that Grand Warden's ability to protect all of my heroes through. Let's actually use the RC ability. There we go. Still two Eagle Artilleries firing in. We will take a little bit of damage, but that's not too bad. I think we will just let my heroes get through this and then we will be good to move to the next. But where Eagle's Day, it is... I mean, it's a fantastic map, isn't it? I love the fact that there's multiple major defenses in a single goblin map, and we just got all of that loot from the town hall. Or the goblin hall, is it called? I don't even know. Pick your poison. Is this a heads up that I should have a poison spell? I want to enter to the single target infernos, I think. That's got to be the best play. Do I just send the healers in? I think I should. Let's hold on to two of them. Okay, let's rage. King's ability, Queen's ability, Grand Warden's ability. Okay, that was pretty good. We tanked through everything initially. We've got one single down. Other single is about to fall. There we go. And we didn't really even need to use many spells. I think I want to use another rage in the center of the base with the Grand Warden's ability. Try and power the barbarians and archers through. I should have probably saved the eagle. Oh, let's turn this frozen. I was going to say invisible, but we need to freeze it. Okay, this isn't too bad. We're through. Heroes are pretty good. I mean, my royal champion's taking a bit of damage. So that one wasn't as bad. Oh, this one looks dangerous. What is in the center of that base? Clan castle troops? Surely. Thankfully, there are no inferno towers. So what I think is it probably is best to just keep my heroes together the way I was doing initially. Got my healers in with the heroes. Let's use the Grand Wardens. Of oh my goodness! I do not have a poison. Oh, they're going after my Royal Champion. Let's freeze them. Let's freeze them. Queen can get the dragon down the bottom. We need to keep this Electro Dragon frozen. Otherwise, that could be the end of us. Come on, Royal Champion. Go for the Electro Dragon. What is it doing? Oh, the Golem is there. Okay. Well, we've got one more Rage. We've got enough invisibilities here. Let's turn... The Royal Champion Invisible. Okay, Clan Castle Troops dealt with. That's pretty good. Let's use the RC ability. Help get through some of these defenses. Where do we rage? Our heroes are actually doing pretty good right now. Royal Champion, instead of a rage, why don't we turn her invisible? And that will mean that the healers can still heal her up because she's there. She's just invisible to the defenses. So that works pretty good. I mean... Bit of a scary moment with the clan castle troops. That was pretty nice. Back in the groove. Feel the last attack knocked us off a little bit. But there we are, three stars, the arena, and look at my loot. It's almost full. Oh, my season bank is full. So everything I'm gaining is not going into the season bank. One, two, three. I could use 400 gems to get to the next season bank. And I'm debating it, but I've still got 27 days. And honestly, I think that would be a waste of gems. So I'm going to power through because I will, no doubt, get there by the end of the month. Flagged for traps. I love some of the names here. Even though the eagle is at the other side of the base, that's not really a big deal. The single infernos are what I need to deal with. So, I mean, do I take my healers? The thing is, I'm always down on healers. They are just about getting cooked in the background and I'm not spending gems on my troops, only in healing up the heroes. So let's go king's ability, queen's ability. Where's the king going? Grand warden's ability. Hopefully that's enough. Oh, look at all of the bombs that we protected the healers through. And actually, we got all of the single target infernos down prior to the Grand Warden's ability finishing. Now, I used the rage spell there to try and help my barbarians through towards the multis. Do I use a freeze here? I, I don't think I need to because my king is getting healed up rather well with the healer. Now, as soon as the multi goes down, let's use the RC ability that protects her health or recuperates it. And I think this is, I mean, it's easier than some of the other ones. 
We've literally got a couple of maps to go. One more before Dragon's Lair. This could be tricky with the single target Infernos. I honestly think I should just move my heroes in one line around the base. That is what I should do. So I think... Why don't I go King, Queen, Warden with the healers? Okay. And I want to see where they go. I want them all to go in the same direction. My healers are good with the heroes at the moment. But I'm just waiting to hopefully send them in the same direction. So let's freeze this. Do not split up. Do not split up. No, they're not going to. Okay, so that's good. Let's go Queen's ability. King's ability. Oh, the Grand Warden ability because the Eagles did activate. Look at them firing in synchronization. That is hilarious i i could freeze the eagles but honestly i think i'm just going to rage everything here because that should look at the damage on my king it should keep everything alive okay let's freeze oh i missed oh i missed two of them still managed to get two shots in so that wasn't ideal queen is now onto the eagles okay that's fine let's rage here because the king king might go down stay alive king stay alive oh he just did what a legend Let's freeze the eagles. I've done it again. I missed them again. RC ability. Come on, help us out a little bit here. We've still got one single target inferno. I think we're good. I'm going to save onto the healers. They take the longest to cook in the background. And basically, oh, the queen doesn't have any healers on her. She's taking huge damage. Let's turn the queen invisible, I guess. What is on? It's on the yak. Oh no, it was on the king. Ah, oh, well, we made it through. I guess we will heal up my king because we're ready. Now is the time for the dragon's lair. But remember, we get 2.5 million gold. Look at my gold. We need to spend something. Let's upgrade a cannon. 15 million for a cannon. And actually, I might as well save onto everything else. I mean, I could upgrade the walls. Ah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we need our king, we need our queen, we need some spells. Ra let's go two rage spells. We've got the poison. I know the dragon is inside there. So let's let's take a couple of freeze. I could really do with some balloons. I know there's a lot of traps. Do we take the dragon first or do we leave him? We need the healers. We need more healers, surely. Nine healers, is that enough? Is that enough? I'm going in with 10. The dragon's lair. I have my spells, my heroes. I haven't allowed all of my healers to cook up. But the question is, do we take the dragon first or do we take this first? I kind of feel like we should take the dragon first if we are thinking about this logically. But really, it's more entertaining to take it last, right? Of course it is. So let's do this. Let's go with the... Oh, I know there's a bunch of traps here. I just know there is. Let's go King, Queen, Warden. Oh my goodness. Let's get a couple of healers in. Let's freeze this. And let's get the Royal Champion. Okay, we're good. We're good. Can we save on to the King and Queen's ability, do you think? Is that wise? I think it is. Let's freeze this. We shouldn't be using all of our freeze spells. We need those for the dragon. Let's turn everything invisible. Because the single target could really do a number on us. And actually, my troops have got through this very, very easy. Let's get some healers on my king. Oh, no, no. There was a lot of damage. King's ability. Queen's ability. Come on, come on, come on. Grand Warden's ability. There's the dragon. Let's rage. Let's freeze him. Come on, RC ability. Okay, we nearly got through the multi-target inferno. We're looking good. Let's turn that dragon. I was going to say invisible, but we froze it. We do not want to turn the dragon invisible. That would be the last thing we want to do. Let's sit it out from here. You're going down, buddy. You're going down. He's gone. He has gone. And just the heroes and the healers have helped me to get through all of the goblin maps, including the dragon's lair. And all that is left is to take down his lair. 100%. Look at the amount of loot we gained and how quick did we do it i have been able to claim my 170 free gems i think i spent more than that gemming the armies in order to do this 
It took longer than I expected towards the end. Definitely got through the initial levels, but maybe we can have some more fun in the single player maps. If you want to see when I dropped to the Bronze League, in order to attack as a Town Hall 14. We did mass healers there as well. It is on your screen alongside the subscribe button. You guys take care and I will see you in the next video.